Hello Capricorn, this is Michelle. Hello Capricorn, this is Richard. And we're here to provide you with your He Said, She Said reading for the time period September 16th through September 30th. We have our ongoing $35 special and that's for your own personal He Said, She Said reading. So if you're interested in a 20 minute reading with both Richard and I, you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com. And I've just put up my new October in-depth readings. Those are my solo readings, so if you if you like those, please go check out the rest of my channel, Gypsy Insights by Michelle, and look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. So Capricorn, let's have a look here and see what your oracles came out. From the House of Night, you've pulled the card of Wishing. So Wishing speaks to a wish being fulfilled, but you need to be careful what you wish for and to make sure you're willing to pay the price of any wish that's granted to you. And from Le Vampire you've pulled the card of Witness. Now this is a card which speaks about knowing, personal evidence and speaking out. So it, it's something to do with, with finding out the truth, speaking your truth, possibly wishing to find out the truth. So we'll see where this goes. Capricorn, I've already meditated on your energy, so I'm going to cut the cards here. And let's focus in on the energy of the person that you are thinking about here. What they bring to the table when it comes to you. Their flaw. How they feel about you, Capricorn. How you feel about them. The strengths between you. The weaknesses between you. The potential for a healthy relationship. Crossed by any roadblock to that and the potential outcome. So let's have a look and see what the energy is of the person that you are thinking of here, Capricorn. The moon. All right, well, that could be could be a Pisces, possibly, mm -hmm. but uh, it's more likely something is clouded, something is hidden, something is not known. And it comes back to the witness card, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Michelle? I feel like this person may be hiding something. Something that they may not want you to, to find out, but uh, it may come out, is what I'm getting. It is a card of hidden things, deceit, lying. So we'll see where this goes. Let's have a look and see what they bring to the table when it comes to you. The Eight of Cups. So they may have already walked away here, Capricorn. Or they're thinking about it. Maybe that's their secret. Maybe, yeah. Maybe that's what they're hiding. Mm-hmm. And if it's, it, it could certainly be someone hiding their uh, thoughts about leaving. It's also what I'm picking up around this is that they may be not revealing the truth when it comes to why they've walked away or why they've abandoned the situation. Let's have a look and see what their flaw is. Temperance in reverse. So lack of balance, <coughs> uh, lack of compromise, lack of... Uh Lack of any cooperation, really. Yeah, I get excessiveness around this person. There's an imbalance when it comes to how they conduct themselves. It could be anger. It could be excessive drinking. In any case, it seems to be something that they're not wanting to reveal to you. Capricorn is what I'm getting. Could be addictions, any kind of excess, something that is done to excess. Let's see how they're viewing you, Capricorn. The Four of Wands in reverse. So, so they're viewing you as uh, somebody who can't provide them with that uh, happy home. Yeah, they don't see a future with you is what I'm getting. And they, they seem to be filled with secrets. So uh, not only are they not willing to find a, a compromise with you or, or uh, settle themselves down in terms of getting themselves under control, it, it could be possibly a, a mental issue as well here. But they, they seem to be... I'm getting someone here who is incapable of that happily ever after. Yeah, it's not your fault. I mean, they. No. No, I, I get that impression as well that 
they they don't feel like they can get that happy home with you but it's not because it's not of any just you yeah. it's not about you it's, it's about them it's, it's about more about them. them yeah something that they they may not even fully know it themselves this this hidden thing this uh something about their their personality that that uh, doesn't let them become settled let's see how you're viewing them capricorn king of wands in reverse so deep down i feel for you about this person i feel like you know that there's a lack of confidence a lack of someone who has not achieved their, very much in their life. Yeah, not not achieved their potential. Right. And uh, he's not in a position to to be very creative mm. uh, about doing anything about that either. Yeah. Within, within their own life, uh, it's it's really a card of lack of control. Uh, yes. to, to a large to a large degree of one's behavior and excesses yes so I think that's uh, I think Michelle had it pretty much right on the head before when she was talking about the temperance in reverse as being a sign of, of somebody who's in, into some sort of excess yeah they're, they're lacking in control of their them themselves and it's holding them back uh, this doesn't have to be a male it can be male or female and it, it may not even be a fire sign. It, it's I'm picking it up more as a aspect or of their personality. But I feel like you're you're starting to find this out here, Capricorn. Let's have a look at the strengths between you. The two of cups. So there is love here. Yeah, there is a connection. Uh, and I get the I don't know why I get the sense that it's a very lustful kind of connection here. It's not really based in, based in practicalities. No. It's um, it, it's something that, that well, you, you're right. I mean, the temperance card in reverse can suggest uh, an excess of lust, an excess of passion, sex, all of those things. Let's look at the weakness between you. Okay, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So there's an inequality when it comes to what one person wants to get out of it. Yeah, I, I think it's... one-sided kind of energy. You know, I, I think it's your partner, Capricorn, not so much you. And they're taking advantage of you to, a, to, to some degree with their excesses. Yeah, I feel like they're not giving to you as much as you would want to you're giving to them but the, but in return they're not capable of giving you back equally what what you're giving into this relationship now when it comes to the potential we've got the page of wands so there's that uh, that lust that playful energy the roadblock is the queen of wands <coughs> now the queen of wands could be it could be a fire sign, mm -hmm. possibly, as, as a roadblock. But I, I think the, the roadblock is actually getting things under control. Mm. Because I think that once things are under control and this person comes to their senses, that unfortunately this would be over. Uh, the Page of Wands is really telling a story to me of, of, uh, of lust. Of get of really of real passionate, real passionate lust, and with the two of cups as being the strength, that mm. that's what your love is based on. Yeah, it, it's the page tells me that it's something that it's 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 a new energy. It's something that's just getting started, or something that started quickly and passionately. But I feel like it's ended. Or will end. Or will end soon. Mm -hmm. Because this person is not able to... They're not looking towards the future with you, Capricorn. But it's for a reason that they're not wanting to reveal. And I don't... I get the sense it's not got nothing to do with you. Right. I think so too. 
I don't know why they're not wanting to give. It, it probably has something to do with this. Yeah, it's, it's a, some sort of hidden addiction other than, uh, than lust. Yeah, it, it's, this is an element of it. It's part of it. And it may be part of some kind of illness. I'm not a doctor, so I can't d prescribe or, or uh, diagnose anything here. But it, it seems like this may be an element for them, that this kind of excessive nature. They can't help themselves. It's lacking control here and there may be a block someone may be married someone may they, they, I feel like this is another person here could be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius that is also in the picture in some way it doesn't have to be a fire sign but I'm picking them up as a fire sign they may have fire in their chart or just be acting like the Queen of Wands who is uh, more of a uh, someone who is when they're in the upright in control of their their their, their own lives there, there's someone who uh, very optimistic uh, fun to be around adventurous spirit passionate lively that that kind of energy so there, there may even be a new start with someone else here is what I'm picking up now the outcome here is the nine of wands in reverse. So that's an energy of pretty much giving up, right? And not, not an unwillingness to persevere, to persist, to keep on going. Yeah, it's cutting your losses due to exhaustion, really. It's, it's something here that, that's, I want to say, run its course. Well, being in, um, being in a very lustful relationship is something that's very hard to, to continue with and to sustain. It, it's unsustainable, is basically what I'm saying here. So the, uh, and I don't know, I'm, I'm going, looking at that Queen of Wands, and I'm, I'm thinking that's a person. I'm thinking that is somebody else who's in the picture. Mm. And it, uh, this, is what we're, this is what we're looking at. So looking back at the wishing and the witness, it's possible that uh, you might want to know why they left mm -hmm. or are planning on leaving but uh, in the end you may not want to know that's the thing isn't it it's being careful what you wish for because if you really find out the truth i think it may be quite hurtful what is the the moon card here as their energy whoops that one's fallen on the floor strength okay it may have been a Leo some other person potentially that they were hiding well you know it could be the it could be Queen, you know, Queen of Wands here that's a that's a Leo card right could be potentially could also be another person let's have a look and see what the temperance in reverse is as therefore what is the temperance in reverse the Empress yeah this person likes attention and it's through their looks that's what I'm getting it, it, it's a very superficial superficial energy here of someone who is doing things that they, they don't seem to be in control of their own oh well I, it's so difficult because I, I don't want to call this person by well, any kind of name well i want to call them a narcissist but yeah but that's uh that's the kind of energy i'm getting from it yeah it, it's someone who's purely on on doing something for superficial reasons for their own gratification but but really it's because they're very insecure deep down but they're on the surface they may appear to be someone who is very confident but underneath it there's a lack of control here and and it seems to be someone here who who does actions because of they want to be admired that's what i'm picking up Hmm. and they may have been hiding 
and uh, some kind of uh, other relationship here but potentially with a Leo a fire sign and and uh, this was the secret they they don't want to reveal to you Capricorn and it's why they the reason why they've walked away now let's get a card on this let's get a card what should we clarify here, Richard? The Nine of Wands in reverse? Yes. What is this Nine of Wands in reverse as the outcome? I get it as giving up, making a sacrifice here. Not willing to put in any more effort into something that is not going to give you back what you want. What is this Nine of Wands in reverse? Okay. The Ace of Swords. So again, we're looking at the lack of clarity here, mm. and I think that's that's all over this reading. It is. What yeah. does this Ace of Swords and this? And it's it, of course it's not finding out the truth. Yeah. Is how I'm seeing this. But you may have to give up on finding out the truth, Capricorn. Really, that that's how I'm seeing this. That Ace of Swords in reverse is telling me that. You're not going to find out the truth. You're hoping, you're wishing, you're wishing to, to know. You, you're wanting to, to find out why this person's done what they've done. But the truth is not going to come from them. One more card here for the outcome with that Nine of Wands in reverse. I feel it's speaking to you about giving up on finding out the truth. Nine of Wands in reverse, please, for Capricorn. What is the outcome for this Capricorn? What is the outcome here for this Capricorn? Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, that they were juggling. They were juggling two people. And you didn't know. You didn't know, Capricorn. Unfortunately, that's what I'm getting. So we'll have to leave the, the reading there and wish you all the very best. If you would like a personal reading, you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com. The cost is $35 for a 20 minute reading with both Richard and I. And also please go check out my new October readings. They're in depth and uh, brand new. So if you haven't already checked out your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs, please go and check out my solo readings. So we wish you all the very best Capricorn. Thanks Capricorn. Goodbye.